Hey everybody, it's Chris Gearnor on the forums, www.theshavingcadre.com. Back with you for my uh, shave video of the week. Uh, even though I do shave daily, I try to catch it at least once a week on video for you guys. Some of you like it, some of you don't. It usually turns into a very long ordeal, almost a Peter, Jap Peter Jackson uh, epic saga here. But uh, let's see what we got today. Uh, you'll notice that today is not Monday. Uh, by the time this gets posted, at least, definitely. Um, but I wanted to, um, what was it? Oh, last video, I had my 300th um, open blade shave. I just uh, like a SR Shavet kind of shave. I used my Feather um, SS Artist Club razor. And to celebrate that 300 shave, I uh, bought a little present for myself. I got a new open blade. This is a WEC med prep razor. It's loaded up with the Persona, a modern Persona blade. I don't have any vintage, but you can see maybe there, you can see the little WEC logo there. I specifically made in the USA there on the corner. I specifically um, did not want the hair shaper one. Well, they're all pretty much hair shapers, but the one that's labeled hair shaper because it looked cheesy. I almost got one of the old style ones with the celluloid scales, but I decided to go for this guy instead. Nice and shiny. It is a little bit slippery, um, but it does have uh, some jimps there. And like I said, loaded with a blade. This has the closed comb guard, whereas a lot of the hair shapers have the open comb guard. So we're gonna try that for the first time today. I'm gonna try it with the guard and we'll see how that goes now normally my oops towel towel normally my open blade shaves are so like all over the place with how i hold the uh, razor and the, my order of the pass and stuff like that that maybe the guard will be more prohibitive than helpful but i at least wanted to try it once and this is my first outing um a few guys have mentioned that um this particular shave vet, much like the Feather DX, is probably as close to a regular straight shave as you're going to get out of a shave vet, which is, of course, a disposable open blade razor. Um, I've got my Katie's Bubbles Unjogri, uh, what is it, Yaki Sagrada Familia brush, and I got my Fat Boy Sun Stand Boy Stand It By, just in case, and Skin Bracer to top it off. So we'll go ahead and get started here. We do have some things to do today. It usually takes the video a while to get uploaded, so. Might not do much talking, but you know me. If you have any regularly, or, man, I can't talk today. I woke up pretty tired. Just got done with the shower. Uh, but if you watch my videos with any regularity, you know that I can ramble, which is usually why they end up being so long. Hopefully not today, we'll see. I do enjoy my shaves though, whether I'm making a video or not. But I actually have already been up for a while. Woke up and took my kids to school this morning with my wife. Um, something I normally don't do on Tuesdays. Normally Wednesdays are my day to take the kids to school, but I joined my wife this morning because my seventh grader, my oldest, had a little scholastic achievement um, award ceremony today. As they're finishing out the year, they get like a week or two left of school, something like that. But He's kept his GPA up moderately high, above 3.0, so, which for him is, I'm pretty proud of him for that. Well, this is his first year at the middle school, of course, being in seventh grade, and it was a pretty big adjustment for him. A lot of new things. Things to deal with. I'm 
Okay, that's feeling pretty slick actually. Let's see where that gets us. All right, so towel, towel, the WEC med prep. The idea is that the guard actually does not touch your face, um, I guess. It's supposed to, um, it's supposed to remain on the outside of your stroke. So this way, so it's going to take a little learning. Um, and then you actually have to switch the guard around. This comes off, I'll show you, and slips back on. And all right, let's see what we do here. It's actually kind of hard to see. I have a persona loaded up in here. Um, there were a couple choices when I went to the, um, I'll show you right now. This pops off, so I can do it without cutting myself, flip it around and put it back on. It's got a little notch there to stop it from going too far. Um, I had a couple of choices. When I uh, went to pick out my blade, the from blades that were at, I got them at Sally's Beauty had squared corners. In fact, pretty sharp looking squared corners. So I chose the Persona blades, which have more rounded corners, kind of like the Feather AC. I'm going to take this off. It's cool. I've got the complete set. I even got a box with it and whatnot, but here's what it looks like without the guard. But it's kind of prohibitive, so... Wow. It feels exactly like a uh, full hollow. That's weird. <laughs> I haven't tried the Feather DX, but blade feels good so far it's not like tuggy or anything like uh, something to compare or something to um, it's not gonna rest my normal way something to um, like compare it to in the medical field um, something that gets passed around a lot um, or talked about some is the um, what's it called the Graham Field, which is a med prep kind of blade, an old school one, but uh, I, you hear the horrors of that one. This one is not horrible at all. Feels like it's cutting very well, not tugging. I have to trim up my sideburns here. Actually feels kind of smooth so far. So that's good. 
I'll be interested to see how um, long these blades last. This is my first non-feather shavet, so I'm trying to remember that. Treat it very carefully. Let me shape up my sideburn here. All right, that was two passes. Let me see how, it's gonna take some maintenance to keep that thing shiny. Let me see how it did here. Okay, still a lot of hair left. Of course, that's pretty normal for me. It's my against the grain that does most, the majority of my reduction actually. I'm not sure why that is. Take care of this here. Line those up. Looks all right. So should I try against the grain? Sure. 13 minutes, I don't know. So far an enjoyable shave. Like I said, blade very smooth. This particular version of Katie's Bubbles, not a bad soap. Maybe not high quality top tier arson it is for some people, but um, That was pretty comfortable. Always a little scary when against the grain with an open blade. Especially one you've never used.
Okay, got a couple nicks here and there showing up. Slow leakers. Myself pretty good in that one. I'm actually gonna finish up with my fat boy. I'm gonna call that. So it'll be fun to continue my tests with that. See how many two pass shaves I can get out of it. That's what I usually do. Two passes and DE. Final pass and clean up. As far as the expense of the Persona blades, they are more expensive. Than Artist Club. The Persona blades come in at almost a dollar a piece. You can pick them up at what I saw in packs of five or 10. Uh, not a whole lot of savings either way. But, yeah. All right, I'm going to pause you to do some cleanup. I'll be right back to finish. All right, back. Adjust this a little bit, something. Oh, well. Anyway, so actually a few more weepers than I thought. Um, just follicles that got cut clean off. Didn't even feel it. Um, so the blades are super sharp. They're actually pretty smooth. It'll be interesting, like I said earlier, to see how long they last. They are my most expensive blade right now. A um, dollar a pop is kind of a lot for any blade. Um, I mean, I don't even think feathers approach that much. But, um, yeah, really nice smooth shave. Um, good cleanup with the Fat Boy, of course. I love that thing. It's probably my favorite vintage right now, um, especially of the adjustables. And um, really close shave. That felt really nice. I'm glad I picked the WEC up. Uh, certainly a great piece of history. I happened to get a really nice one. And so I, here's that. I'm gonna finish up with some skin bracer here. I already did my witch hazel and some, uh, that's generic witch hazel and then some Thayer's medicated. I've been kind of doing both lately, just for the skin feel. Mm. Nice powdery. I'm going to put some more on. That was good. Powdery finish here. A little bit of menthol. All right. That's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. That was my absolute first use of any kind of wick and pretty much any kind of shave vet other than my feather. So very interesting. I'll be happy to continue using that throughout this week um, for at least two passes of shave. And if you haven't seen or considered a WEC, maybe you want to pick it up. They are a lot cheaper than uh, the Feather AC system in terms of the razor itself. In terms of blades, the blades are actually pretty uh, widely available, especially if you have a Sally's Beauty in your area, uh, which is kind of like a salon barbershop-y kind of supply place. I noticed I opened my door. It's pretty hot. It's supposed to get up in the 90s today, and I'm already feeling warm. But, um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, consider the WEC. I had a great shave with it. Felt exactly like a full hollow uh, straight razor. Um, just a little more weight to it because of all the stainless. But, uh, so catch us on the forum, www.theshavingcadre.com. New bingo game is starting up soon, the 10th, which I believe is next Monday. And, or this coming Monday, rather. And lots of great banner there. Catch up with us all. Post your own videos or just drop in and say hi. And I'll see you there. Have a good one. Bye.